हेलो आवाज आते का हेलो हेलो इस ईयर सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री यस सर आप लोगों का हाँ ये तो सर ओके इन लास्ट एस्टरडे लेक्चर वी सी द बीहाइव मेनली यूज फॉर द कमर्शियल अनिबेरिंग दैट इज़ द विच बीहाइव नेम ऑफ़ दैट बीहाइव मोहिबल फ्रेम विच इज इन्वेंटेड बाय द साइंटिस्ट एलियल लैंगस्ट्रोथ एलियल लैंगस्ट्रोथ मोहिबल फ्रेम हाइव ओके इन दैट see the different parts of that hives and their functions so another uh, topic that is the bee keeping equipments which equipments generally used for the rearing of a uh, honey bees in a artificial hives in that first one uh, bee keeping equipment it is the bee veil bee veil is the mainly used for the uh, protection of uh, stinging of a honey bees it is worn over the face for protection against stings it should be made up of black nylon netting screen having size of that uh, net that is the 12 mesh screen wire or fabric are the preferred materials for the made of that bee veil and which is fit tightly to the shoulder leaving enough space between the veil and space so this particular equipment is used for the protection against protection of a space against bee stings the next one uh, bee keeping equipments generally used at the time of harvesting of a honey from the from the hives that is the gloves blue uh, bee gloves are made up of tightly knit cloth or soft leather soft leather or tightly knit cloth they cover the forearms the gloves are useful for beginners to develop confidence in handling bees this also uh, blows protect from the stinging of a honey bees but handling of a frames will be uh, not very uh, suitable in case of gloves are wore so this is uh, generally for the uh, young or new comers new comers for the handling of a bees then next equipment that is the uh, protective uh, dress or protective clothes uh, totally cover the uh, bee veil gloves shoes and a uh, cloth white cloth that is the also called as a uh, dress mainly used at that time of a Uh, handling of a bees the next tool that is the hive 
have tool it is a piece of flat iron with flattened down edges at one end it is useful to separate high parts and frames which is glued together with a propolis it is also useful in the scrapping excess propolis or wax and surplus combs wax from various parts of the hives this mainly this hive tool is used for the separation purpose of a wax or propolis or other uh, hive parts or frames which are stick with each other with the propolis that that's why this hive tool is mainly used then smoker generally what is the purpose of uh, smoker or smoke use karta smoke at the time of harvesting of a uh, honey from their combs generally smoke is used for the uh, that honey bees should be uh, drive away from their colonies or Uh, this smoker is also used for the calm the bees calm calm the bees or drive away bees from their uh, colony it consists of a metal fire pot with a funnel shaped cover and a bellow so this is the bellow for the injection injection of the air into that fire pot so this is the fire pot in that fire pot we should uh, create uh, we should add the uh, burning material like wood shavings or or old drags in that fire pot and this will be helpful for the uh, injection of air into that pot and the smoke is directed into the desired spot with the help of also there that bellows so generally this smoker is used to to uh, escape or away drive away the bees from the super as well as used to calm the bees that's why this smoker is uh, generally used so this is the bellow for the injection of uh, smoke as well as uh, use the uh, air is injected into that fire pot containing a burning material like wood shavings or old rags generally used for the fire purpose this is the smoker the next uh, bee keeping equipments that is the bee brush bee brush or soft broom is generally employed to brush off the bees from a honeycomb before it is taken out for the extraction mostly in a colonies of apis mellifera so this bee brush is useful for the removal of bees from their honeycomb before the taken into the extraction a soft camel hair brush is used to brush the bees of the honeycomb before it taken for the extraction that's why this bee brush is a use uncapping knife also called as a decapping knife knife so after the preparation of a uh, honey the hexagonal cells is uh, sealed by the honey for the protection or store their honey into that hexagonal cells so before we take uh, that uh, uh, before uh, extraction this uh, sealed honeycomb should be uh, removed with that uncapping knife or decapping knife that's why this knife is used for the decapping or uncapping of a sealed honey hexagonal uh, open for the honey hexagonal cells this knife is heated by steam or electric heated knife with 
thermostatically controlled temperature as used for the purpose this is the honey extractor this is the it consists of cylindrical drum in that drum containing a rax which is fixed inside that drum to hold the super frames this is the uh, steel uh, steel drum or honey extractor uh, in that containing the rax which is fixed inside the uh, drum or container the rack uh, which is rotated with the help of their uh, gear wheels the decapped honey frames are kept in the slots of that rack the rack is rotated by operating the handle honey flow out from that from the combs by centrifugal force the extracted honey comes out through the spout present at the bottom of the container the honey comb is not damaged so it can be reused by using the extractor pure honey can be obtained so in that uh, honey extractor there are the different racks in that racks kept the Uh, honey frames and which operated by the gear wheels and rotated clockwise and anti clockwise manner and due to the rotation honey will be comes into that uh, container and we can easily remove that honey without disturbing that honey uh, or honey frames or brood chambers or brood chambers or honey frames without disturbing or without destroying that frames we can uh, remove the honey from that frames and these frames should be used reused for the further collection of a honey this is the queen case uh, various types rectangular conical are used in a bee keeping rectangular queen gauge this one is the rectangular queen gauge it is a small rectangular queen gauge made up of wire zinc wire sheet closed at one end and open at the other end for the uh, it is used when a new queen is required to be introduced into a queenless colony the operator in the wire gauge should be as large as possible but not so large as the allow entry only the worker base and don't exit the uh, queens in that reared or newly emerged queen should be not uh, escape from the that uh, artificial hives only uh, workers can get into uh, that uh, queen cage but queen cannot escape from that colony this is the shaped structure made up of a piece of wire uh, made by the piece of wire generally spiral in shape it fits around a queen cells giving protection to the developing queen inside the next one uh, equipments used for the bee keeping that is the dummy division board so this is the wooden structure serve as the movable wall or help to reduce the brood chamber so this is the division board dummy division board generally used for the in a brood chambers or in a supers in that dummy division board it can hang along with the frames a wooden strip or cut bits of leaves kept inside serve as a float which prevents the drawing of bees in a sugar syrups or uh, trans this mainly dummy or division board generally used for the prevent the drawings of bees in the sugar syrup in the case of low honey flow period this is the comb foundation sheet 
mainly this comb foundation sheet provides to the uh, artificial rearing hives for the easily uh, these workers can make their structures on that comb foundation sheets these build cells in various sizes in combs in different parts of the country is useful for several types of comb foundation sheets are required so number of cells 20 to 24 per uh, 100 mm in apis serena indica and 19 per 100 mm in apis mellifera indica this comb foundation sheet is mainly useful for the workers for the construction of their for the construction of their Combs. So this is very useful and also uh, also the energy of a worker should be saved due to that comb foundation sheet. So there are the hexagonal uh, hexagon the size of the hexagon uh, hexagonal sheets or hexagons are also embossed on that sheets which is fixed on the frames on fine wires. And bees can make of various uh, their uh, shapes in that uh, comb foundation sheets for the storage for the storage of their honey. Then division board feeder. This is the wooden structure generally used in a artificial bee hives. The sugar syrup or other liquid food is poured into it for the bees to feed at the time of scarcity of a food. That time this dummy division or division board should be generally used. Plastic, uh, this uh, dummy division board is made up of wooden or wood structures and in case of a scarcity of a food, we should add a artificial sugar syrup or other liquid foods of a honey in that dummy division board. So honey will get their foods from that sugar syrup. This is the queen gate or also called as a wire entrance guard. This wire gate is placed in front of the hive entrance so as to confine the queen inside the hive and thus help help to prevent the swarming. Swarming means Swarming to swarm This is the behavior of, behavior of a uh, mainly honeybees swarming or swarm. This is the natural method of a colony uh, multiplication in which a part of the colony migrates to a new site to make a new colony. Swarming occurs when a colony builds up a considerable strength or when the queen substance secreted by queen falls below a certain level. Swarming is a potent instinct in a bees for dispersal and per dispersal of the species. So this is the natural method of a uh, colony multiplication in which a part of a colony migrates to a new site or to make a new colony. So this queen gate is helpful for the uh, uh, artificial bee workers in that a particular hives bees, uh, honeybees queen should be honeybees queen should be reared or confined in that particular hives. This one is the drone trap. This is the rectangular box with two compartments on the partition in between two wire gates. Funnels are fixed with their narrow ends direct upwards. When the open end of the trap is placed against the hive entrance during evening hours, the bees pass through the box and out out of the distal wall of a iron bars which form which form the worker escape worker escape whereas the drones or the queen cannot pass through the wire screen and are thus 
trapped in that drone trap so only a uh, drone will be trapped in this in this drone trap workers and queens cannot be trapped this is the queen excluder generally made up of a zinc sheet placed on the top of the frames then separating brood chambers from the super the workers can pass through this spaces whereas the queen and drones cannot pass the queen will be obliged to stay with the brood box and supers of the eggs and broods can be used for the harvesting of a honey from that supers so only queen will be passed from that queen excluder drones and queen cannot pass from the brood chamber to the super nucleus hives this is the hive used at the time of colony division or capturing of a swarm colony this is the capturing hive or nucleus hive generally used for the capturing of a new swarm colony or this nucleus hive used at the time of a colony division pollen traps pollen can be collected from these traps by using pollen traps fixed in the front of a hive entrance when available in abundance the bees uh, which are visited to the flowers for the nectar and pollens and comes in their hives at the time of enters into their hives these pollens uh, from their body or legs should be collected in that traps that's why it is called as a pollen trap okay these are the various bee keeping equipments generally used in the artificial bee hives then bee pasturage and bee forages so plants that uh, yields pollens and nectar are collectively called as a bee pasturages or bee forages plants that yield pollen and nectar are correct are collectively called the bee pasturages and bee forages plants which are good source of nectars generally tamarind neem soapnut trees eucalyptus pangam moringa prosopis julifera glyricidia maculata tribulus terestris these plants which are the good source of a nectar then a good source of a pollens that is the sorghum maize millets like kumbu tinai paragu ragi roses pomegranate sweet potato tobacco coconut castor date palm these are the good source of a pollens plants which are the good source of pollen as well as nectar in that banana citrus apple berries pear plum peach guava sunflower safflower and mango having a rich source of a nectar as well as pollen then the foraging means collection of a nectar and pollen by the bees nectar nectar means nectar is a sweet secretion from the flower and extra flower nectar is of a blossoms it is the basic raw product of a honey it consists of dissolved sugars that is sucrose glucose and fructose foraging means uh, collection of a nectar and pollen by the bees which is also called as a bee foragers and bee pasturage so nectars generally collect from the flowers by using the lapping tongue by the honey bees this uh, ne collected nectar passes to their hive bees then hive bees should 
repeatedly pass the nectar between preoral cavity and tongue and to ripe the honey later this ripen honey drop into the cell and packing of that dropped honey into into the cell so this is the nectar uh, foragers bees so in that picture that is the nectar collected honey bee and pollen collected honey bee so nectar collected uh, nectar after the collection of a nectar these uh, honey these honey bees pass their nectar to to the hive bees hive bees repeatedly pass the nectar between preoral cavity and tongue and to ripen the honey into their cells then pollen foragers uh, these honey bees uh, pollen foragers collect pollen by passing flower to flower pollen body and removed by using their pollens packed by using pollen press into a corbicola which is located on the hind legs a single bee carries 10 to 30 mg pollen in a single or various digits that is the 10 to 30 mg pollen should be carries that is the 25% body's weight of that honey bees this pollen should be dislodged by the middle log into the cell and mix with the honey and store hi ji nectar and pollen nectar generally uh, stored in there on the lalo ko ja git nahi mi dide hi ji usne wa ra la nectar foragers and pollen foragers then generally uh, honey bees travel 2 to 3 km distance to collect pollen and nectars so this is the journey of a honey bees from collection of a nectar to their hives forager bees that bees uh, visit to the flower for the collection of a nectar and pollens that is called as a forager bees gather nectar from flowers and return to their hive nectar is passed into the mouth mouth of the workers or hive bees then these hive bees repeatedly pass this nectar between preoral cavity and tongues and finally make a ripen honey and this ripen honey should be stored in their uh, hexagonal seals and this hexagonal seal should be packed with their packed with a substance which is secreted from their body bees in the hive maintain uh shaking of their uh, wings for the dehydrate the nectar it becomes honey when the hive interior uh, temperature is 90 degree fahrenheit and nectar moisture level is reach uh, less than uh, nectar moisture level reaches 70 17 percent then uh, seasonal management of a honey bees pollen and nectar available only during a certain period so mainly from the month of november to march that is the very honey flow season or surplus food uh, source and uh, from the after the march the honey flow season should be minimized so that time we should um, seasonally management of that rearing honey bees is uh, important 
so extremes in a climate like summer winter monsoon need a specific management practices honey flow season management in in that provide more space for honey storage by giving cps or built combs in the artificial bee hives uh, confirm or confine queen to brood chambers using queen excluder this is the important practice for the seasonal management if we will um, if the queen is swarming from that particular hives then totally colony should not be uh, functioning there all the activities so that confine their queen into a brood chambers by using a queen excluder prevent swarming before honey uh, flow provide sugar syrup and build sufficient population in that colony and colony should be make a strong divide the strong colony into two to two to three new colonies if colony multiplication is a need queen rearing technique may be followed to produce new queens for a new colonies in a summer management we bees have to survive intense heat and dark period for sufficient shade under trees or artificial structures to increase relative humidity reduce heat sprinkle water twice a day on a gunny bags or a rice straw which is put on a hives increase ventilation by introducing splinter between brood and super chambers provide sugar syrup syrup pollen supplement substitutes pollen substitutes or and water in a summer season management in a winter season maintain strong and disease free colony provide new queen if required in a new hives to the new hives winter packing in a cooler areas management during dearth period means that time pollen and nectar should be less in the environmental condition remove empty combs use dummy division board to confine bees to small area unite weak colonies provide sugar syrup pollen supplement or substitutes in a rainy season or in a monsoon season avoid dampness in a apiary site that is the proper uh, provide proper drainage in rain when bees are confined to the hives provide sugar syrup feedings in a totally rainy season only bees confine their location in their hives they not visit to the flowers for the nectar and pollen so in a particular rainy season they confine their confine in a only their hives that's why we provide artificial sugar syrup for providing as a food and then communication in a honey bees communication in in a honey bees by using the various pheromones including queen substance that is secreted from the queens vasono glands that is secreted from the last abdominal segment of a worker bees and that's uh, due to the vasono gland secretion each and every colony or hives having a specific odor that's why particular uh, honey bees uh, that attract towards that particular colony due to that vasono glands secretion having a particular odor due to that secretion honey bee colony having a particular scent or odor alarm pheromones emitted from this sting secretion of tarsal gland these are the various pheromones or substances generally used for the communication in addition to that pheromones or chemicals the honey bee also communicate by performing a certain dance so in that there are the two dance round dance and waggle dance then scout bees return to the box after foraging they communicate to the other foragers present in the box about the direction and distance of a food source from the hive by performing a dance scout bees means which bees called as a scout bees 
काउड बीज स्काउट मे का स्काउट बीज जनरली दिस स्काउट बीज मेन फंक्शन ऑफ दैट काउस बीज इज सर्चिंग ऑफ ए फूड फ्रॉम देअर टू टू थ्री किलोमीटर सराउंडिंग एरियाज ओनली सर्चिंग ऑफ दी फूड एंड सर्च द फूड शुड बी इंटीमेट टू दर मेम्बर्स ऑफ देअर कॉलनी बाय doing a dance so in that round dance and tail waggle dance or wagtail dance there are the two types of dance uh, should be performed by the honey bees at the time of their searching of a food source so first one that is the round dance this one this picture is the round dance so round dance and tail waggle dance these two dance made performed by the honey bees according to the uh, distance of a source of a food so round dance is used to indicate a short distance and uh, wagtail dance or tail wagging dance indicates long distance so the short distance in case less than 50 meter area that time uh, the, if the uh, food source is available less than 50 meter surrounding that time honey bee should perform a round dance so it used to indicate a short distance less than 50 meter the bees honey bees Uh, scout bees runs in a circles first in one direction and then in a opposite direction first run in a one direction and then run in a opposite direction that time if the uh, availability of a food is less than 50 meter area at that time they perform a round dance then wag tail wagging dance or wag tail dance this is the tail wagging dance or wag tail dance tail wagging or wagtail dance waggle means to move with a short or quick motions that is called as a waggle this is used to indicate long distance more than 50 meter more than 50 meter here the bees makes two half circles in opposite direction with a straight run in a between so initially these uh, scout bees after searching the uh, food material they comes in their hives and perform a wagtail dance if the food source uh, indicates long distance so initially they run run in run in a, a straight run and be makes two halves this one is the one half and comes in a straight line and then make a another half and comes in that position then uh, straight run and make half one half then comes in that position then straight run and make another half 
so during the straight run the bee shakes their abdomen from side to side the number of wags per unit time inversely proportional to the distance of a food so at the time of uh, straight run they shaking their abdomen so this uh, shaking their abdomen mainly for the uh, indicates that the distance of a food material if the shaking uh, of a abdomen is more times that means it is inversely proportional to the distance if the abdomen uh, of that scout be shaking a, a large numbers or in a large times that means indicates that the honey flow um, that is the source of a food is uh, having a less distance and if the abdomen shaking more times that means distance is a low and abdomen shaking less times that means distance is a more the direction of a food source are also conveyed by the angles that the dancing bees make between it, its straight run and top of the hives which is the same as between the direction of a food and direction of the sun so also in that they also indicates their direction of a foods in the this one is the nest of a honey bees here is the sun and here is the availability of a food source so in that this honey bee also in a waggle tail dance indicates their source of a food by using the angle in between source of a food and sun so this is the wag tail dance or tail wagging dance mainly in a uh, round dance uh, we cannot uh, uh, judge the or we cannot judge the angle of a food source only distance that is the less than 50 meter and in a wagtail dance more than the 50 meter so this is the round dance making a rounds circular rounds and in a wagtail dance making a two half half circles or also called as a eight shape dance or waggle dance the direction of a food source is conveyed in that waggle dance by the angle that is the dancing bees makes between its straight run makes between in that straight run so you can also search these round dance or tail wagging dance on youtube so uh, this in innovation or invented first time by the scientist carlon fish and awarded a nobel prize for discovering of that dance in a honey bees round dance and wiggle dance so here uh, give the first these scout bees run straightly in a second picture after straight run they make a half circle then comes in that position make a straight run and then make a another half one so this structure is looks like a eight or eight or waggle waggle means move with a short to move with a short or quick motions or move from side to side that's why this is called as a waggle dance so this dance first time invented by the scientist carl von fish and awarded as a nobel prize for the invention of that dance in a honey bees
ओके कुणाला काय डिफिकल्टीज शंका असेल तर विचारा एस आर वन झिरो टू वन जीरो टू एटीन एकशे दोन दोन हजार अठरा आहे का नाही कुणाला काय डाऊट असेल तर विचारा नाही 